Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. In this video, I will be discussing the Cap Gemini interview experience. This interview happened on 14th May 2021. Guys, this is the second interview experience I am posting on this channel. The first one has already been posted and is present on my channel. So guys, make sure that after watching this video, you watch that video also. Guys, if you are new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe it as well as join my Telegram group also because I post regular updates on different companies which are hiring as well as the questions which are getting asked in them. The link of the Telegram group is given in the description box. So guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay so the branch of my friend was CSC. The date of the interview was 14th May 2021. Duration is 25 minutes. Now first we will discuss the technical questions then we will be discussing the HR questions from this from this interview. So first question in the technical round was what is RDBMS? So guys this is most probably the first interview experience I am covering where the first question was not tell me about yourself. But guys you have to prepare the, that question that tell me about yourself that that will be asked by you definitely. So the first question in this interview was what is RDBMS? So first of all the RDBMS stands for, for relational database management system. Now a relational database refers to a database that stores data in structured format for example in table format. Now using rows and columns. So what is a database? See database consists of large number of tables and how a, how a data is stored inside the table it is stored in the format of rows and column. Now this makes it easy to locate and access specific values within the database. So as the table like structure is very easy to manipulate or to execute queries on so that we can fetch the data. So for exa uh, example of RDBMS is the SQL. So example of RDBMS is SQL. So you must have heard of the term SQL that is the structured query language which is only applicable on the table type data structures. Okay. Now the next question was write the query to find maximum and minimum salary in the table. Okay. So as for you I have already written these queries. So for finding the maximum salary from the table what you have to do you have to simply do select max then the column name that was salary from table name. So this will give, a, give out the max salary in that particular table. Now for minimum salary select minimum that is min then salary and then from table name that is from which particular table you have to find the minimum salary. So these were the both the commands you have you had to tell the interviewer. Now the next question is now if you are following my interview experience series lot of time this particular question has been asked that is what is the difference between linked list and array. So first of all an array in this data structure all elements are stored in contiguous manner. What do you mean by contiguous manner? It means that one after the other. There is no space in between these two elements inside the array. So we know that a character data type only takes one byte of memory. So let's suppose we have used stored at 2000 memory position. So then the next alphabet in the array that is let here it is B. So it will be stored at 2001 then similarly on 202 and 203 and so on till the length of the array. So in this particular data structure all the elements are stored in contiguous manner and there is no space between present between these two elements. So and we know that using in arrays we can access arrays using the indexing that is first element stands at zero index and rest on the corresponding indexes. Now the second thing was linked list. Now linked list is just opposite of array that is in array the elements are stored in contiguous manner but in linked list the elements are not stored in the contiguous manner. The linked list in linked list a data is stored in the format of node. So let's suppose this is see this is a first node. So here it, data will be present that had to be stored and plus one more thing will be present that is the address of the next node. So in this in the linked list the elements are not stored in the contiguous manner and it is stored in the format of nodes. The node has two things one is the data and second one is the address to the other node and similarly the other node also have two things that is the data of that particular node and the address of the other node. So I hope the difference is clear to you. Now next thing is what is data structure? Okay a data structure is a collection of values which are stored and organized in such a way that it allows for efficient access and modification. So let's see what a data structure is. We have a lots of data but how we have to store them in particular systems. So that systems are known as data structures. So for example, a data structure can be array is a type of data structure, stack is a type of data structure, queues is a queue is a type of data structure. Here all the operations dif are different in different data structures. But one thing is common that all these data structures store data only. So we know that in arrays we can use indexes to 
to fetch the elements in stack we know that there is an approach called last in first out in queues there is an approach called first in first out and in linked list i have told you in this video only the data is stored in a in form of nodes so guys you have to give the definition of data structure plus you have to give some examples of data structure okay so i hope this thing is clear to you now next thing is related to dbms again that is butter acid properties so as again if dbms is asked in your interview again it will be a most you can say most occurring question that what are what is what are the acid properties so first of all you have to give the full form of acid so what does acid stands for so here a stands for atomicity c stands for consistency i stands for isolation and d stands for durability then after this you have to give the definition of every term that is first is atomicity the okay so the entire transaction takes place at, takes place at once or doesn't happen at all so guys if there are there is a transaction and there are let's suppose eight lines of code written so atomicity means that either the eight lines of the code will be executed fully or none of the line will be executed so there is a no no possibility of executing first four lines and then after some time next four lines of code will be executed if there are certain things written they will be executed all at once not you can say not individually all at once if all at once either none so this is what atomicity is the second thing is consistency so let's see we all know that the database we are database used in different places like in banks they are all consistent that is the database before we take out money and database after we take out money they both are consistent so the database must be consistent before and after the transaction so for for example you have done a transaction of 100 rupees so before the transaction and after the transaction the database should be you can say consistent now third one is the isolation that is multiple transaction occur independent independently without interference so what does it means so let's suppose there is a bank account so you are also transact transacting through that bank account at a particular time and your father is also transacting the same bank account at the same time so those two transaction will be running independently that is also property in this asset property they should not interfere in in each of the transaction they should occur independently independently and separately without interference so i hope that isolation is clear to you next next is durability the changes of a successful transaction occurs even if the system failure occur so guys if suppose you have made a transaction but that is not that is not occurring in the database so it means that the database is not durable so this thing should reflect in the should reflect in the database even after the database is failed so these were the asset properties i hope this is clear to you now next thing is what is oops so again this is the most common and most common i don't think it's a right word it's a 100% asked question in an interview that is what is object oriented programming they can ask what is oops they can ask what is abstraction what is encapsulation what are the properties of oops these are all kind of same questions only so what is oops oops stands for first of all object oriented programming systems now it is a programming concept that works on the principle of abstraction encapsulation inheritance and polymorphism so guys if you have seen my videos previous in videos of interview experience i have discussed everything in detail that is what is abstraction what is encapsulation what is inheritance and what is polymorphism so make sure that you are watching previous videos also and if you want to learn more questions on oops what can be asked i have already made a video on the most most common interview questions of oops so do check that video also now next is what do you mean by inheritance and polymorphism again these are two properties of oops only so let me just give you a little bit idea so first of all inheritance okay the capability of a class to derive properties and characteristics from the another class is called inheritance so guys see we have we also have some traits that we have acquired from our parents so that is called inheritance so we we are child and the things that we acquire from our parents that is called inheritance it's a property of acquiring you can say in class method we can say we can acquire variables and we can uh, we can inherit the methods now there are two uh, there are there are two terms in this inheritance one is the subclass and another one is the superclass so here subclass refers to the child that is the class that derives the attributes is called the subclass and superclass is the class from which the attributes get derived that is the parent class it is known as the superclass so i hope these things is this thing is clear to you next thing is polymorphism again it's a very common question polymorphism the word polymorphism means having many forms so this is just one line you can tell to the interviewer 
and after that you can say define different types of polymorphism that is polymorphism can be defined uh, can be categorized into two forms one is compile time and the other one is the run time i hope the definition of compile time and run time are cleared by their words uh, by their name only now again compile time can be also divided into two things and run time also is divided into one things that is virtual functions okay so i hope this polymorphism things is clear to you now next question is what is a pointer so it is a ra rarely asked question in an interview that is a pointer is a variable whose value is the address of another variable that is that address of the memory location i know it's a bit confusing but let's see with an example so let's suppose we have a variable called int a is equal to 0 now now we have another variable that is int star p let's just forget int star p let's say p p is equal to ampersand of a now what does this ampersand of a reference it reference the address of a ampersand here ref refers the address of this variable so this address of this variable is been stored in this p variable so this p variable is a pointer now a pointer is a variable whose value is the address of another variable now p here is the pointer and its value is the address of a so it means that p's value is the address of another variable that is a so i hope this is clear to you that is p is a pointer now for a pointer this is the data type that is int star let's suppose a in a we store integer value so we have a data type called int now in p we are storing the address of another variable that means it's a pointer and its data type will be int star okay now the next question so this is the last question of the technical round that is some questions of programming like what is a loop what is a nested loop so th these are very basic questions that what what is a loop so if we have to perform a let's say set of uh, set of lines of code we have to write uh, we have to execute again and again so in that case we use a loop and then what is a nested loop a loop inside a loop is known as a known as a nested loop where nested loop is used nested loop can be used in making patterns so these were the only questions which were asked in the technical round and this round i think lasted for only 25 minutes now after this after this my friend cleared the interview and after around 1 hour he got the he got the call from hr for the hr round hr round now there are there are almost same questions which i asked in hr round and if you are following my previous videos or you have watched my video of nine most commonly asked hr questions then this round will be it will be very easy for you so first of all the hr asked my friend about introduction again i have told you that it is the re repeated question that will be asked to you in an interview the next thing was tell me about your oh, sorry it was tell me about your project it was tell me about your project okay so again i have told you in videos also that how to explain your project you have to explain it into different parameters first one is the what your project does second is the problems you faced how you overcome that problems what was the future scope of your project so all these things you must be prepared and when the interviewer asks you then only you have to tell those things and describe your project now next question was again very simple that willing to relocate again it depends on the candidate he can say yes or no based on his preference another one is the night shift again same as relocation your wish you can say i can prefer night shifts or you can say i do not prefer night shifts so as this was this was all for the hr round and this was all for this video i hope you like the video guys if you want more such interview experiences please like this video as well as comment down that you want more so i will start making more such videos thank you for watching it